Alright, so what you need to do is just uh, shoot, uh, we need to make 30 uh, gifts, so just shoot these boxes. Uh, the bigger boxes you see are actually, no, we need to make 100. The uh, 30 over there is uh, our ammo. Eventually, Lock, Shock, and Barrel will enter the area, so you just need to shoot them. Let me reload. Uh, the bigger boxes you see will uh, help make it go a lot faster. Oh, there's a giant box right there, put all of it into it. There we go. So, we're just taking out Lock, there's Shock. We just need to hit uh, her. What they want to do is come through and just like try it. Oh, really? I need that big box. Oh, here's a gigantic box. There we go. Man, that's like a lot of it right there. Jerks. But yeah, they're going to come in and try and stop you. It's really annoying, but... Alright, we need to just do that. And then... Done. Yeah, it can be kind of irritating because they knock the boxes up in the area to wait for more. Not quite. There's more? Don't worry, I'll take care of the rest. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to Santa Claus real quick. Are you all set? Uh, yes, let's go. This plaza should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the... And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go! It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Shh. I found the world. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! And so the battle with the experiment begins! This is one of the tougher and really irritating battles of the game. Wow, he's going to split apart several times. Uh, like the head will do an attack, the body will do an attack. It gets really irritating. Dry forks are super useful. If you uh, go into empty form, you might be a little screwed, so be careful with your dry forms. Uh, every you, I should explain uh, empty form. Every time you use uh, the dry form, you cannot activate empty form at any time. It's random. The more you use empty form, the higher the uh, like percent for uh, its use goes up. So keep that in mind. Don't uh, abuse the dry form. It becomes increasingly annoying too when you try and level it up. Why am I not doing any damage to this thing? Can I damage it now? We're not doing any damage. Okay, what the crap? Oh, here we go. We have to make it go to second form. So we need to do kick spin. And I believe we're going to shoot at his head or something. Oh, crap. Nope. 
what's going on? Yeah, it's going to split apart a couple of times. This is one of the irritating fights. So let's go ahead and keep on attacking. I'm going to throw up here. Oh, not that hero jack. Okay. So let's go ahead and keep on attacking it like so. Uh, it should... No, it's going to stay in this form for a little bit. We need to hit, we need to hit it a few more times before it switches back. Okay, it's going to split apart. Now, Rias Command. Come on. So then we come over here and do it again. And there we go. Now we get to keep attacking. It's what an interesting thing though. Uh, it does really fit the uh, Halloween Town theme. Which is pretty neat. So keep on attacking. I seem, I shouldn't say it out loud, but I seem to be having a somewhat decent time uh, with this battle. I'm really glad I threw that uh, high push that day because I probably would have gone to anti-form. There is a uh, sort of counter. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jack died. Good night, Jack. So throw that over there. And come over here. Yeah, I'm having a somewhat decent time with this. I'm not damaging anymore, so... Oh, there it goes. I can damage again. So let's keep on attacking it. And... It should go down real... There we go. The mystery is solved. Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm. The doctor has made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally. 
You've given me the nicest present in the world, and I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not your gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart? You bet. Tell me what's in How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? So yes, that's the end of Halloween Town. I always like the cutscene with uh, Sora and Kyrie spinning around. It's also a little weird considering that's KH1 Kyrie and KH2 Sora. Uh, also, that was probably the easiest time I've ever had with the experiment. But yes, uh, now we have this new world right here open to us that we'll be handed to next time. However, I should note that once you beat, uh, basically once you complete most of the second visits, uh, Pride Land, I just spoiled what uh, the world's called. The next world we're going to, which is called the Pride Lands, uh, that's an optional world. Uh, you can go to Twilight Town, and you can actually head off to go beat the game right now. We won't be doing that uh, right now. We still have uh, both visits to this world. Yes, we have two visits here. We also have to go finish, finish up Tron's world, uh, and we also have uh, Atlantica over there, which I'm going to worry about later. There's still quite a bit left to do, but we can go finish the game right now if we want to. I would, but this is just the order I do things. We'll go there later. So, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we head to uh, go through the gunship mission and head off to the new world. So, until then, I will see you all next time. <laughs>